Hey y'all, Ivory Sky here, and within this video I want to demonstrate step-by-step -step how to color grade S-Log3 footage within Final Cut Pro uh, 11. Now, so let's tell you what S-Log3 is first. Sony Alpha cameras, most of them can film in S-Log3, and as you can see here, the color of this clip and we'll go over here to the eye so you can select your clip go to eye for information and when we scroll down here we will see the uh, actually I scrolled past it camera LUT which is lookup table now currently it does not have a LUT applied and that's why you're seeing this image you don't see the color this is a green shirt and, I mean, everything just looks flat, for lack of a better word. So what we'll do first is we can go through. Now, Final Cut Pro 11, these are built-in LUTs, and there's several of them for, uh, for S-Log3, but I'm going to choose Sony S-Log3 S-Gamut 3 Cine. Now, you could also add custom camera LUTs, and that's one of the major value adds of filming your footage in S within the S-Log3 format because you can use these built-in LUTs, which I'm about to do, or there's a plethora of third-party LUTs for, uh, for giving your footage that was captured in, uh, that was filmed in S-Log3, whatever type of visual appearance you want to give it. But we're going to select Cine here, this S-Log3 Cine and immediately you can see the color is there. So this is only with the what applied, the lookup table. And as you can see here, it says Sony S-Log3. It's, it's confirming that that's present. So once you've applied the LUT, if you want to further refine the visual appearance of your video, you can go here to this tab. See that tab that I just selected? Now there's a lot more depth that someone can go into if you're a professional level uh, film person you can take it even beyond what I'm about to do but this is your standard tutorial for okay you've got a Sony Alpha camera you want your videos to look better you don't want to have to attend a, uh, a class for film you know you don't want to go to film school you just want to make your videos look better that's what you're going to get right here so just by applying the LUT, you can see it looks great. But let's say, see, this is a bright green shirt. So let's talk about the environment before we go into these next steps. It is winter here at the Appalachian Ocean. So there's a lot of brown. You can see those colors. I mean, that's, that's just the seasonal nature of the shot. The sun, it was, it's a cloudy day when I shot this, so everything's you know it's not bright like it could be but with that being said there's a few things we can do here so let's look at the shirt okay we want that shirt to really stand out so what we can do we can go to saturation here and see if you put it way over there that looks fake but what you do you can start at zero and then you can gently drag until you get see if you go this way it's going to darken it but if you go this way, it's going to get more and more, the colors are going to get more and more saturated. This is a matter of personal preference. I mean, some people may want to keep it right here at zero. But I want it to be a little bit more. So I'm, I'm going to go up to, that's what I want, 20. And again, that's personal preference depending upon how you want your footage to look. But since this footage was filmed in S-Log3, just like a standard uh, still photo that one would capture with a camera, now I use the A7R5, I use that, this same camera for stills as well, uh, just like a still photo that was captured in RAW format, S-Log3 provides similar uh, functionality within post-production. I mean, you're able to go in and better refine the look of your video. So, I mean, the saturation is just one thing. I mean, you can go into black point. You can go crazy with this, make it, you know, darken the, 
video, whatever you want to do. I mean, there's so many adjustments just here. You can adjust the brightness. You can adjust the exposure. See? See, now that, see that right there, and then you go to zero. I will say out of the, uh, out of the camera zero for me, and then this is all subjective. Wasn't what I wanted, but I'm going to go to about right there. See, I think that looks, now everything is very, uh, very visible, but it, you know, I haven't adjusted the saturation to a, to a level where things look crazy. You can do the highlights here. I mean, there's so many adjustments that one can make. And it's just, it's a matter of personal preference. I mean, you can, you can take this S-Log footage and simply apply the LUT, the lookup table like I did at the start of this tutorial, and you can stop there and you've still got very high quality footage. But you can see these few minor tweaks that I've made this already looks a lot better. Now, if you want to take a lazy approach, you could apply the LUT, and then you could do Enhance Light and Color. I don't like what it did. It darkened it. But you can see by using the automatic Enhance Light and Color, and then I turned it off, so now everything's set back to zero. So what we're seeing now is how it was simply with the LUT applied. Now when I do Enhance Light and Color, Final Cut Pro 11, tries to determine what Final Cut Pro 11 thinks all of these values should be. And you can see it's adjusted all of them. I don't like what it did. So for that reason, I mean, if you just want to stick with some basics, okay, look at what's bright in the shot. Brightly colored the shirt. You know, get this where you want it. Don't go too far to where it looks fake, but get that like you want it, and then you know, adjust the exposure. It's a matter of personal preference. But again, the fact that this was filmed in uh, S-Log 3 enables all of this enhanced color correction. Now you can color correct if you don't use the S-Log 3 picture profile on your Sony Alpha camera. You can color correct just standard footage that was captured with your Sony Alpha camera. But like raw photos for still photo, I mean like raw format for still photos, S-Log3 for video is going to enable these post-production color corrections like I'm performing here to look so much better. Because, I mean, not to get too technical about it, but footage that was filmed in log, S-Log3 has more data that these post-production programs like I'm using now, Final Cut Pro 11 in this example, it has, uh, you know, more, more data that the program can work with. See, look how good that looks. And that, I mean, that's how I like it. I mean, this is personal preference. You know, I can't tell you that, oh, you need to adjust your saturation to 34. Oh, no, it should be 27 instead. I mean, this is a, it's a dangerous territory. I mean, you get into talking with a team and you're like, man, I think it should be... Very, very rarely is everyone going to agree on how it should look. But, as I showed you earlier with the LUT that I selected, I just selected the out-of-the-box Sony S-Log3 uh, S Gamut 3 Cine. But like I said, if you wanted to give everything all your video clips that you filmed in S-Log3, a specific look, you could choose a custom camera LUT. So the possibilities are somewhat limitless, but for a basic S-Log3 color grading workflow, I mean, that's what I've just demonstrated. I mean, you know, import, import your, your S-Log3 footage into Final Cut Pro 11, select this right here for the LUT, and if you choose to do so, go in and, you know, further refine your, your little sliders here. And like I said, I mean, there's a lot more that one can do than, uh, than simply using these sliders. I mean, you can see here, there's a bunch of options. You can do add correction, color board, wheels, 
color curves, hue, saturation curves. I will admit it, that's beyond my realm of experience. So what I want and what I've accomplished by using S-Log with my Sony Alpha, Sony A7R5, is the ability to capture the best quality video directly from the camera. So that once I'm in post-production, which I am now in Final Cut Pro 11, I'm able to achieve the best video quality possible. You know, why, why take a camera into the field and take the time to film stuff if you're not filming in the best, uh, with the best setting possible, which I believe for Sony Alpha is S-Log3. I mean, you're going to take the time in the field to film it. You're going to return to your studio and edit in Final Cut Pro 11 or whatever post-production software you use. Why not have the best quality video to work with? And there's a lot of people that may not do much in post-production. I mean, if you're wanting to simply film a video with your Sony Alpha camera and then simply download and upload to social media without any edits, in that scenario, filming an S-Log3 wouldn't work for you. But if you're like me and every video that you film with your Sony Alpha camera, you're going into Final Cut Pro 11 and editing and enhancing the color, enhancing the audio, etc. Why not have the best video quality possible for those edits? And again, that's S-Log3. So I hope this video helped without leaving you with a confused and dumbfounded look on your face. Because if you're like me, you've prowled the internet and you found a lot of videos that talk about S-Log3, some of which are very long videos and some of which contain very good information. But for the majority of people that just want to take their video quality to the next level, those videos are overwhelming. So I hope this video showcased the basics. I mean, you've, you've filmed your video with, with uh, S-Log3 and you've imported it into Final Cut Pro 11 and you've selected the lookup table, the LUT, the camera L-U-T, and then you've gone in and you've further refined your, uh, your color settings. Now watch this. See, if I go 34, look how crazy that looks. If I go all the way to 100. And likewise, if I go back, see, I'm losing color. And I can make it look pretty much grayscale. But the zero right there is, is only with the LUT. But see, take your time. Drag it slowly. And also, worth mentioning, you can type in a specific value here. So let's say I wanted to go to 35. I could type 35 and press Enter. So there's, there's so much flexibility. And it, just try it out. If you haven't tried filming in S-Log3, try it out because I think once you start using S-Log3, you'll probably not use any other picture profile for your, um, for your Sony Alpha camera. You may. Everybody's different. But I think once you see the quality of those videos after you've run them through your uh, Final Cut Pro 11, like I just demonstrated, I think you're going to be blown away and be like, man, I wish I had started filming an S-Log3 a long time ago. Hope this video helped. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified whenever I post another video. If this video really helped, and this is not required, but if you choose to do so, you can choose to send me a super thanks. And to do so, you can just choose to click that thanks button down below this video or any of my videos for that matter. And you can choose to send me a super thanks, which is not required, but is deeply appreciated. Thanks for your viewership. Questions, comments, comment below, and I'll try to respond within an upcoming video. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.